What is your experience with equality on festivals? Um, pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> It's usually mostly a men. men. A lot of men everywhere yeah. in the music industry in general. Um, on the road, there's a, a lot of men. <laughs> Um, too many dicks on the dance floor. Yeah, <laughs> um, but um, it's. I think it's better in Scandinavia it's in general. I think um, yeah. the gender balance. I think we are more aware of it, and have tr have worked with it for a few years, yeah. trying to improve it. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot of female artists here as well who are big and get to play big stages. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really sad. Yeah. It, yeah. It really is. It's so silly, you know, and it's mm -hmm. kind of embarrassing to have to be like, oh, we're going to be like, we have to have more women. Like it should just, it should just happen naturally because there's mm -hmm. so many amazing female artists and bands. And, but and female, I mean, women want to see other women on stage. Like yeah. I think it's real. I love seeing, you know, a, a woman headlining a stage. Oh God. Yeah. It's and the best. Yeah. So I think festivals would, it's good for festivals and I think more people would come if yeah. you would dare to book a female act and put her as a headliner. Being on stage and being women playing instruments, I think that hopefully is inspiring. Yeah. And there's a lot of young women in our crowds usually and I think yeah. that they, you know, we're not trying to be role models, but I do think that they they get inspired and we know that they, you know, they put up covers on YouTube and, yeah. they, and they often talk to us after the shows and they're like, oh, so I started singing with my sister or yeah. I started making music because of you guys. Yeah. Um, so I think hopefully we're just, yeah, an inspiration just by being women and yeah. being an example. There's so much good music made by women. Um, and I mean, we don't look at it like, oh, this is women music. Women music male and music. male music. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> You know, it's just music. Yeah. I mean, that's so simple. I mean, that's that's just a thing. Like, yeah. it, it's just sad that we that we split each other up like that. Um, mm -hmm. In in every way that we do that, you know, it's just silly. But it's the way it is. It's the way it's been for so long. It's hard to get out of the mm -hmm. the habit. And you know, I I know that I myself definitely like judge women harsher in in so many ways. And. Mm -hmm. That's because it's just an integral part of like being human in this <laughs> world. Like you're taught that from such a young age, you're taught that you're like on this team or you're on this team, you know. Yeah. yeah. And it's just ridiculous, but it's it's a fact, so we have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, it's just music. We have a lot of confidence. Yeah. And, and we're proud of our success yeah. because we've always sort of like done what we wanted and been ourselves and just mm -hmm. like exp expressed ourselves and it's taken us this far. Yeah. Um, we haven't had like a big label who told us like what to do or like have an yeah. image. We just sort of, yeah, we're just very ourselves and, and here we are, you know, yeah. 10 years later we're doing this and yeah. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, definitely. It's our third time it's an playing, honor. playing Roskilde and every time we've been here we've always, you know, seen such amazing shows. Yeah. Like I remember seeing Nick Cave here. Mm -hmm. I think in 2009, and then we saw Jack White as well. Mm -hmm. um, we were on like the side of the stage, and we saw like 80,000 people like clapping along to like Seven Nation Army, mm -hmm. and just amazing. Got goosebumps, and yeah. now now we're on that stage. So yeah, it's pretty surreal. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Now it's your turn. Yeah, we yeah. made it. <laughs> we're also gonna play Seven Nation Army. No, <laughs> we should. Yeah.